we're next to Log Horizon. That's the other uh, sequel that premiered this week. Oh, All right, God. so what I said to David, I'm in trouble. I forgot everything that happened last season. Um, <laughs> I'm not liking how they started this, to be honest. Like, what? I'm not liking how they started out the, the episode. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it would have been fine if it was a continuation from the end of last season. Okay, so but because I haven't watched last season kinda, for years, I'm screwed. Well, actually, Brian, do you remember a, a lot of what happened the past few season? Fuck. Okay. No. Let me try. Let me try. Okay. Let me try my best. To, let me try my best oh, to remember. So God. basically, like, so like each guild, uh, they combine together to make like this this sort of like group. Next to the round. Yeah. But it's like it's not like <laughs> like like they said like, it's not really like a government group. It's just like it's just cooperation meant to like make like the Akita better. But um, what was it like? So let me try to think, because because the the main the main issue is like the disappearance thing, like because we had we had Krusty go to the, the Chinese server because he's yeah. I think I forgot what guild he's part of, but he's like he's you know, DDD DDD DDD. <laughs> yep. I forgot what. Yes, what, I know exactly what that stands. I forgot for. what that that one is for, but <laughs> like, but it's like the disappearance, and then also. Um, they, they, they kind of touch upon in this episode too how like there's other people just disappearing completely not even on any other server and mm-hmm. and uh, Shiro brought at that point that oh they might be back in reality who knows um, the other part is it's like is uh, the princess because they're part of the NPC world where um, they're, the, the area that Akiba is in like they're on, technically it's in the territory of like that, that kingdom where the princess belongs to and Krusty was like trying to be talk to her and be di- diplomatic towards her and her kingdom as well. So, Dude. like when they said Krusty, I had no idea who it was. When they said he disappeared, <laughs> I forgot all about he's, it. He's like he's, like he's like the guy. He's like the the knight or the paladin that wears glasses. Yeah, I, I, like, I remember like after kind of like the flashbacks when they were kept saying Krusty, Krusty. I was like, Dude, who the fuck is this Krusty? He's, and I forgot how he's, many. He's, how he's many like the one I actually character. remember because he was really he's really important to like like he's a really important guild leader and like that that round table like like they um they basically meant to make him like. The de facto leader, whatever. Didn't he become evil at some point, or not evil? But like they didn't know like what he was trying to do. No, not yeah. evil. It's just like the princess, like she like had doubts about him because even though she's in love with him, she didn't know much about his character. And then she saw that like even though he comes off, he's he's polite to her. Like in real, I think in reality, he's he's like he's he likes battle. He like he likes fighting. That's why he's a leader. And so like he had to show her like that side of of, of him. That's like the only other, not really evil, just like he's not like this, this like, he, like this gentleman yeah, that, he, that, he, well, that he she thought off, he was. He comes off as cold, but he's actually a nice guy. And then it took her a while to kind of figure that out. And eventually she kind of fell for him in a sense. So that's why in this episode, she was kind of just waiting for him to come back. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's so many things going on with this episode that even I had problems trying to figure out what. Like what they were doing, because I, I kind of remember how season two ended, although I don't really remember like all the main details. But I feel like they're just uh, like moving too fast, and with such a long hiatus they had between season two and now, you you, you had to do something to kind of bring the the audience back into the story. And I was completely lost, and yeah. no, it's, I, it's, it's I, rough. I get that. Um, I kind of like this episode. I actually kind of remember more details, but I kind of see where they're going. Where like the whole the whole issue from last season is like the the brown table is falling apart because there's no leadership but even and now the big the so besides like trying to find crusty like um the big plot now is or the big thing that problem is that is um the guy leaving the table is is um mm-hmm. the the seceding from the table the guy that man fuck that guy the guy that the the, the, the princess was supposed to marry but yeah fuck him. The one, the, yeah. the the arranged marriage for the princess. That guy, he's in the the rival kingdom. He that, and they sometimes fight with the princess's kingdom, and so there might be if there's ever a war, like you know, like the adventures might get caught up in that. Are you talking about that that creepy looking fuck? Uh, they haven't introduced. They haven't the introduced the, her fiance. Oh, so. who's, the, who's the creepy looking dude then? That they keep showing. What creepy looking dude? Who are you I don't talking? know. He's like in like a he's in like a weird looking hat. It's like a. He's like wearing like purple gear and stuff. I, I, he wasn't in the the episode of itself. I don't think. I think he was in the preview. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, he has like giant eyes. Okay. No, I don't know what okay, you're talking okay. about. 
All right, we'll talk about him in the future. Okay. Hopefully, then. <laughs> well, I'll be like, dude, who the fuck is this guy? That's what um, I feel like. But like, I feel I feel so bad because I know this is a good show, but I can't remember shit. Well, I mean, and no, people had Christmas season two. Like they did. I don't remember because I I felt like it lost focus of like the whole MMO vibe. Like there's oh, you mean the bards. The bard, I mean. Well, and the, and, to, and the, the kids' dungeon was like dragged on for too long too. Dude, right? But but then this is this is what I was talking about like last week, right? Like season one, I thought was great, but it was also one of the the first of its kind in a sense, where it was kind of a new. I mean, it was it was the better. It's what Sword Art should have been, like. Right, and then season two just made made everything like uh, the the plot very convoluted. They were just like all over the place, and especially with how they ended it, I I can see why season two has a lot of criticism. And then season three, you're just kind of like working off of season two, yeah. which had a problems of its own. And I, I think that's where the problem lies. The animation wasn't like upgraded at all. It still feels Same. very Same. like generic. Old. Yeah, generic. Uh, Storyline is still very convoluted. And then you got like a bunch of like events going, like just, just hitting you in the face. And you don't know like where it's where, where it came from, where it's going. And I think that's where the confusion was. Uh, and if you're going to... If that's the same problem that season two have, and you're gonna work off of that and not try to fix it, I think you're gonna have a bad season. So, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I still, I, I'm still gonna like assume it's gonna go well. I, I'm, I'm gonna guess that like the next few episodes, like it'll kind of like rejog my memory for like a lot of things. Also, I saw Justin sent us like a link of Reddit that I, mm. I'm sure gives us like a good like a uh, um, recap of like what happened. So, uh, oh. hopefully, it won't. It won't. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I read it all, and I had watched seasons one and two, and I still didn't know what the hell was going on. So okay. So yeah, it just sounds like they're trying to do too much at once. Then yeah. Yeah. I right, well, I appreciate the effort, but it just needs better execution. So. Oh, yeah. dude. Also, opening sucks. That song was terrible. I don't remember. I don't remember the opening. <laughs> all so. I remember is database. Like, oh, it's all about da- the database. Yeah, when you go from database I, to whatever I'm that like garbage. One of, was. I'm like one of the few people who <laughs> didn't care much about database. So. Honestly, I didn't care about it until Brian yeah. started singing it. No, like database, is pretty, database is pretty hype. I don't like, I don't yeah. like the, the fact yeah. that they just say database one yeah. no, you know, hundred times. I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> English in that song. So. Uh, of course you don't, David. So. There's only one thing you I read. You hate English today, anime. Oh my God. Yes, it's English. <laughs> um, oh, the only yeah. thing I have to say to you about this episode is um, it's like that that one guy who was like basically like, I think his name was Ainz whatever, but like when he was like, yeah, because <laughs> so, like the guy who I, mean, I understand that each guild leader has to look after their guild and they have to look at uh-huh. their own people, but it's like <sighs> I, mean, I understand it's hard like getting together as a group like that, but it's like you're still you have to think like about, about the greater good and like trying to make this place better for everyone instead of trying to be selfish. Which, which same thing with the other guy, the other guy who wouldn't give support, the, the like the rich guild that wouldn't give support to to the guy asking for like irrigation money or whatever it's like come on bro help out, help out like your fellow guild like you're like you need to do coffee with everyone but then I don't, I don't i don't like oh go ahead brian as they say man money is the root of all evil because <laughs> that shit it is, is the most just it's just, just so disgusting i was like man fuck that guy like yeah you, <laughs> you just you kept making excuses how like you didn't want to spend money it's like what do you guys spend your money in this world man like the, the food tastes shit and oh. like you're just constantly i think the novelty no no of, they fixed that no they, oh, they, they, they fixed, fixed the they, food okay. yeah besides they that though like the they like the, i think the novelty of adventuring is wearing off for them i think, I think just, they want to know like what's they're still trying to expo- like explain what's happening just in the world the fuck out. <laughs> Because I don't. Cause yeah. well, I, I guess like they're still gaining levels, but still, like, what do you? What there's no like end end game raid, or I don't know what you do. So. Well, I think the point now is basically it's like because they don't know what happened with Krusty, like it, just like the possibility yeah. of getting out of that world and oh, maybe going back. But like, like I was gonna say, t- I was say too, like Ainz, like how like he was trying to. Um, but that's another thing I didn't agree with, like how he, because he felt weak, he had to rely on Krusty to do things for him like i didn't like that either because like you gotta be strong on your own too you can't just like this is that arc now you, you can't just rely stronger. on people to, to no fight. i mean that's just, that's that's just the problem with how the world is right now right there's no real leader and then crusty was that leader and when you're just a group of mediators and you need help because not not everyone has has it equal right you have people who are adventurers who who uh, don't have certain skill sets so they're they're going broke so that's why 
you know they're asking for help and then if you are unlucky you kind of need help and that's where the government would come in or like the the leader would come in and say you know i'm going to delegate this this and this resource to these people because they need it the most and it's not really their fault it's just the fact that you know their choice of well, skills is does not help them. i guess i i understand he's he's coming from a bad position but it just made it felt like he was he wanted crusty help fight his battle for him just because he felt like he didn't i don't know he felt like he didn't have enough power I don't know. Right. I just didn't agree with that. So, so um, and then like so, and I guess I understand from his position. Again, he's looking for his own guild, his own people. That's why he had to team up with the rival kingdom. But right. I just again, it's like when you think about like how how unstable it makes that group. Like you bring in so much like like potential problems by doing that, and like and if if and like these are the people that you need to rely on, like because I. You can't rely on. You can't just assume the event. The NPCs will be on your side. Like I, you should trust like your fellow like adventurers from the other world and these NPCs. No, again, I don't think you're being fair because when you're weak and like the group that's supposed to help everyone out evenly is not doing their part because their leader's not there anymore. What else are you gonna do? Right? Are you just gonna starve to death? Like, re- like resort to crime? You know, it's not like he's becoming like he's making a, a gang of bandits now and just robbing people or whatever. Uh, so I feel like you're being a little bit too harsh on a guy, and he's doing what he has to to make sure his his group survives. I'm just giving just a little crazy. I don't put the blame fully on him. I like I blame like the other guy too, like the uh, the guy who won't give money. So, guys, I, I blame Krusty. This guy just leaving, and just not cutting it, and basically just not doing his work. Dude, it's not his fault. All right, some I'm kidding. Work <laughs> happen, I'm just kidding. Right? Yeah, friend's you guys just, are so this friend's just a hater. <laughs> Just hates, I'm, hates, I'm completely, hates, I'm hates completely Subaru, kidding. Subaru hates Krusty. Like, I actually don't. Everyone. Rem- hey, I don't hate Krusty. I don't remember him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> even worse. Whatever, whatever, man. Uh, but yeah, but then again, though, no, just back to the show. Uh, I feel like the only people who would probably like it, unless they pick it up, is uh, like people who were really fond of the show, like back then. So I think nostalgia is just gonna be a big driving factor. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't really see this uh, this season like doing so well. Oh, I'm gonna finish it. Like it's um this far. I didn't watch fifty six episodes for no, no forty eight episodes for nothing. Oh, I Wait, was it fifty two? I thought was it twenty sixteen or fifty. Oh, it maybe been. Is it twenty okay. four or twenty six? So it's either forty eight or fifty two. But too much of my life gone. I'm gonna continue watching it. <laughs> I... Well, again, it's like Sword Art, right? You're just finish it because it's Sword Art or whatever. But I don't right? hate it like Sword Art though. I um, actually, eventually you will. Eventually, you will. I still, okay, okay. I still like um the setup of the world. Like I like how they're trying to do much more MMO. Like vibe okay. better than every other like v- like MMO show. Like I so. saw no bard. I, s- I already saw no bards. Two thumbs up. <laughs> so I'm also I also like give this a shot just because I I am I am attached to like at the world I guess. Yes, I I am very attached to the character. Of the door. Even though like, even though like the like <laughs> even though like they're they are trying to do too much at once right now. Yeah. yeah. So I uh, yeah I don't know man like it's it's gonna be rough. But again, yeah. this no, is I totally get your point though. Quarter. The sword art vibe, right? It was good at first, but now it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's not doing so hot. Yeah, no, I, I totally get get what you're saying. So, we'll see. I don't we'll know that low, but yeah. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, okay, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. So that's it for Lock Horizon. Mm-hmm.